successful straight men generally have no problem finding multiple women to date, but successful women? Studies say that's a different story. Now let's be frank, dating in today's world is far from easy. For women, could personal success perhaps emasculate a proper male partner? Now how successful do you have to be to be a successful adult navigating the dating world? It's actual studies saying successful wives still make hubbies uncomfortable. Do you find that men find you intimidating? Find me intimidating? Um, actually, I think this is my last relationship would sure say the same thing, but I think that's a reflection of a value system rather than a reflection of actual, the actual mon monetary success. I think it's a matter of your temperature, um, being at the same speed. And, but what I mean by that is usually when it becomes a conflict, it's because somebody puts in a lot of effort in one area, meaning their career or their, whatever they're passionate about. And that itself can be intimidating because it means that somebody else will have to compete with their attention or also know what it's like to deal with somebody who's under that kind of stress or, or who pushes themselves in that way. And that can be a point of contention. I think a woman saying that she's too successful to date is equal to a woman saying she's too beautiful to get a date. I think it's all rubbish. I think that, I think, I think, a woman isn't to anything to date. Mm -hmm. I think it's whatever she decides that she is or isn't, and then that's her real reason for not dating. For the women who are watching this, you can still be 100% successful unapologetically and still get your proverbial walnut cra shell cracked. It just takes, it just takes a guy that is strong enough to work with you through it. And if he's not strong enough, he's not he's worth not it. Well, he's not the guy. He's not the guy. I, I know this that I'm opening up a whole other can of worms, but I will, you talk about this strong alpha male. I like this comment from T.L. Stryker. It's kind of interesting. Settle for a beta male. I must be a beta male, by the way, T.L. Stryker. <laughs> what, what, what about that? I mean, what, 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 what about that scenario? I think when you're dating someone and when you're in a long-standing relationship, you it's just agreement upon agreement and creating a way that you see the world together. You're making your own rules. You're making your own ecosystem. So however you self-identify, whether it means, oh, I'm a beta male, so I need a beta female. I'm an alpha male, so I need an alpha female. However you have that conversation within the two of you, that's all that matters. And who cares what society thinks? Who cares if you have yeah. somebody on here poo-pooing stay-at-home dads? They're the ha one of the happiest couples with two beautiful children with a long-standing marriage that I know. And that is their ecosystem and it works for them. So who are we to judge and put our framework on anyone else's?